Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Chris. I am a photographer and audio engineer from New Jersey and this is a sound check for an upcoming three band metal tour. They're about to load in their rig. Our house cabs are all stacked up over there. I don't know if they want them backstage or if I can leave them on stage. They weigh a ton so I'm gonna wait and see what they want to do. I have the cables all organized from my microphones. I have the drum mics uh, drum mic cables ready to go because they are bringing their entire back line onto the stage. They're going to have their drums, their cabs, and everything. The only thing that they are using from us are our vocal mics. So I'm waiting for them to start loading in. The last thing I need to do, I tested the lights. They all work. Just need to test the PA. Sounds great, but since this is a metal show that we are playing tonight, I'm going to get a more appropriate metal band. So you can never go wrong with, uh, with dying fetus if you're doing a metal show. So I want to test the monitor routing because I did not do that yet. FBI. Center monitor is good. Stage right monitor is good. Stage left monitor is good. And drum monitor is good. So we are all set. PA sounding great. Lights work. I'm ready for bands. So for recording audio of the live mixes tonight, I will be using my Tascam DR05 um, portable recorder. I'm going to place it right along here just so I can get a better stereo image recording because the default recording microphones on this camera are garbage and it's just going to be over compressed and extremely loud. So I'm going to try to get this to record the sound check and the live mix audio in hopes that it actually works right. Okay, yep, let's get a kick. with Tom Fills. Sorry? Can you give me everything like a simple groove with some Tom Fills? Thank you. 
you out there? We need some of the drum monitor. I'm gonna need a bit more of this mic in, in my monitor. Okay, so G. I'm sorry, I stayed right beside you. I said your name is Steve? Yeah. Uh, are you good in that pledge? Hey, two, two. What's your call? Hey, 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 yeah. Okay. Your vocal okay, too? One, two, yeah. Oh, two, two, two. All right. I'm sending you a little bit more because it's going to be loud as hell out there with the drums. For sure. All right, drums, what do you need in your wedge? Guitars. Two. Uh, yeah. All right, do both of you want to play and then you give me a thumbs up when it's loud enough for you? Center vocal. sound check doors are about to open lights are ready to go let's uh let's give you a tour of this madness up here 
so my house cabs are all back there my house drum kit is here and let's just start from stage right to stage left so the good thing about this tour and these bands tonight is they are all using the same exact back line so there is essentially no gear that needs to change over let's just start stage right to work our way towards stage left so they all brought their own cabs their own drums and everything so we have a couple we have a pv 5150 amp we have a great laney amp um this is doubling as a bass cab here both of these are connected to the cab this is actually being connected direct to me and as you can see here they are they have their pedals ready to go over here and over here I don't even know what drum kit this is. I'm sure some tech nerd can explain to me what make and model this drum set is, but it sounds fucking great. We have two Audix D6s inside the kicks that are routed to a single kick mic into our input. We have our snare, which is an Audix i5. These are Audix mics as well on the toms. Their cymbals are all set up. We have overheads for the cymbal and the ride. Over here is the bass amp. It is a vintage Ampeg. Sounds fucking gnarly. And this is the first band's amp. It's a angle amp and this just sounds so good in the speakers. This has such a nice, warm, wide sound. And then we have a vintage Marshall down here, there are guitar amps are being mic'd by Sennheiser, Sennheiser E605s. And this is the part where you are all going to either be like, oh wow, that's interesting, or it's going to give you nightmares. And that's everything going on back here. This is the stuff of nightmares. So all three bands are using the Master Split Snake, which is down there. So all the inputs are either going to there or there. And the first two bands are using their own individual in-ear monitoring systems. So we have three different split snakes going on before it gets routed to me for front of house and monitor control. So this is the first band, Haunt's um, in-ear rig. They have um, another in-ear rig down there for Night Demon. And Satan is going to be using our wedges. But this is everything routed into our split snake here, which is then routed to my master snake, which is then Ethernet cable connected to the console over there. And everything, everything looks dreadful back here. And trust me, this looks like total nightmare fuel. But as you can see, the stage is not really that big so we have to make do with what we have um, but the good thing is everything is properly labeled and all the bands are touring so they all know how to switch out their in-ear rigs for each other so switch around time is going to be roughly 10 minutes and this is it this is from the stage view of what it's going to look like for tonight's show doors are now open. And now we have an hour until Haunt goes on. They go on at 8.
Showtime.
awesome fucking job. That was so awesome. <laughs> you killed that. That was awesome. This is what a stage looks like 
after a big show. Time to, time to get to work. I got my work cut out for me. There is a lot of garbage on this stage. A lot of sweaty, disgusting rags that needs to be cleaned up. But first I need to wind up all these cables. Oh boy. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be the last one here tonight. Everyone else seems to be ducking out. That's okay. That's totally okay. I honestly don't mind. It gives me a chance to be by myself, be in my own space, and do things my way. Which is exactly what I like to do. So I'm leaving everything up here on the drum riser because tomorrow uh, someone's coming in with a mop to properly clean and mop up the stage. So I'm just getting any excess debris off the stage. That's that. All right, so the last thing I gotta do now before I officially close for the night is take all the spare cables that I'm not using back to the console and I gotta take the drum mics to the console. I am so sweaty right now that the bandage on my thumb is literally melting off. It's okay. I am almost done. Spare cables. I gotta remember to throw these out and take those with me. Your board is covered and secured. Okay, guys, that's it. I am done. It is time to get the hell out of here and go home. I think I'll be driving home with the top down tonight because I am sweaty. All right, guys. Good night. Catch you in the next one. Peace.